Welcome everyone to this prayer. I encourage you to proclaim over your life in order to enter into the next spiritual level. God our Father, I ask you, please come to this place. I ask you through the blood of Jesus Christ, through the name of Jesus Christ, I ask you, Holy Spirit, come and pray through our mouths. Father God, in the name of Jesus, the authority and finisher of my faith, I arise and to establish my legal rights and dominion over my life, my family, over this region, over the territories that you have given me jurisdiction and authority, according to Daniel chapter 9. For you are the only great God, keeping the covenant and mercy to them who love you and to them who keep your commandments i appeal to the god who said in second chronicles chapter 7 verse 13 and 16 if i shut up heavens that there will be no rain if i command the locust to devour the land if i send pestilence among my people and my people which will be called by my name shall humble themselves and pray and seek my face and turn from their wicked ways then I will hear from heaven, and I will forgive their sin. I will heal their land. My eyes shall be open, and my ear attend unto their prayer that is made into this place. For now I have chosen and sanctified this house, that my name may be there forever, and my eyes and my heart shall be perpetually there. I declare that this place is sanctified, anointed by God. I present my body as a living sacrifice to by the shed of Jesus, uh, by the shed blood of Jesus Christ, my Savior and my Redeemer. Make this prayer holy and accept unto you. I confess my sins and the sins of my fathers. Let grace and mercy prevail over us. I declare and I have free passage for my prayers to ascend into the realms of supernatural and will not be earthbound. I come into agreement with the Supreme Court of Heaven. I am seated in heavenly places with Christ Jesus. Therefore, I declare that the anointing of God breaks every yoke, open every portal, and assign angels to reinforce me as I advance into new level new dimension, new realms and territories. Let there be breakthrough in heaven, breakthrough in my life. I tap into prophetic wings. I shatter glass ceilings. I smash spiritual bars and iron membranes. I declare breakthrough atmosphere is established right now. I recalibrate the spiritual climate and the decree that every bit of lukewarmness must be replaced with the fire and seal of God. Father God, baptize me with your Holy Ghost and with fire. Let there will be fire in my mouth as I advance in this prayer. I take authority over demonic atmospheres and climates that are created by cultic activities, destiny-altering images, incantations, ill-spoken words, witchcraft, hostile environments, fear, terrorism, racial and ethnic hatred, violence in the name of Jesus. I command that the spiritual climate to shift, economic climate to shift, social climate shift, cultural climate shift, educational climate shift, political climate shift, ecclesiastical climate shift. I command that the atmosphere must be filled with the glory of God. Father, fill this atmosphere. Fill the environment with your glory. I alter this environment and declare it is now suitable for my ministry to thrive, my relationship to thrive, my children to thrive, my loved ones to thrive, my business to thrive, my ideas to thrive, my nation to thrive, my government to thrive, my economy to thrive. I establish a supernatural environment for miracles to occur in the name of Jesus and by his shed blood, which is shed blood of lamb, the lamb that was slain before the foundation of the world. Hallelujah. 
Evil must be destroyed. For this reason was the Son of God made manifest that he would destroy the works of the darkness. I decree and declare the works of darkness is destroyed right now. I decree every course over my life is reversed. I break through prevailing and sustaining powers of darkness over this region in the name of Jesus. I arrest every demonic spirit by name of Jesus Christ by word and empowered by angelic hosts to war in my behalf. I resist territorial strongholds. I sever ego entanglements, open the cases of psychological prisons. God, deliver me from spiritual shame, spirits of shame, embarrassment, harassment, iniquity. Deliver me from the spirit of the strongholds of and pride. Deliver me from the stigmatization, emotional blackmail, social impediments, seductions, satanic limitations, satanic illusions, addiction, demonic restrictions, cultural entrenchment, cultic strongholds of bewitchment traditions, antichrist cultural environments. Free me from the limitations handicap, impediments. I refuse to be marginalized, stigmatized, immobilized, territorized, characterized, criticized, tolerated, censored, misjudged, mishandled, mismanaged. Amen. I wear cloak of favor. I establish my superior authority over this region by the blood of Christ, the word of God, and by the spirit of God. For this reason, I remind that the Son of God has manifested that he would destroy the works of devil. I decree the works of devil are destroyed. It is destroyed above this region. It is destroyed over my neighborhood. It is destroyed over my body, my family, my children, my loved ones, over my ministry, over my pastor, and over my government. The evil works of devil are de is destroyed. It has been destroyed. I declare the name, in the name of Jesus that plans and the purposes of God shall prevail. The word of God prevails. Hallelujah. His will prevails. My prophetic perfects prevails. My destiny prevails. My vision prevails. My business prevails. My ideas prevails. My ministry prevails. I prophesy to the four winds that things that have died prematurely and dried up because of the salt satanic activities are quickening and coming to life. I declare the pieces of my destiny and pieces of finances, my ministry, my relational puzzles are coming together right now. My life comes together. I decree that the body of Christ is coming together. My ministry is coming together. My marriage and my family are coming together. My relationships are coming together. My budget is coming together. My money is coming together. My business is coming together. Our government and political leaders are coming together. Everything is working together according to your will, God Father. Thank you for that. Hallelujah. With you, nothing is impossible. Father God, I decree and declare that floodgates of heaven open. Let it rain. Spirit of God, usher us into the times of refreshing that you promise it, will, that you promise it and it will come from the presence of God. I decree and declare that there shall be no more demonic droughts, no more demonic dryness, distress, disease, depression, no more demonic power over our lives. Amen. Become in the volume of the book that is written of us. Become in the power of God, the God of Joshua. We decree and declare that every impenetrable wall must come down. In the name of Jesus and in the power of the Most High God, I shatter barriers, blockage, barricades. I declare that I am advancing into the calling and into the purpose and the plans according God's will. Hallelujah. I am proclaiming that Jesus Christ is Lord of Lords and King of Kings, that His kingdom has come. His kingdom is over my life, my family, and every region, and His kingdom is at hand. I declare, according to Isaiah chapter 9, verses 6-7, For us a child is born, to us a son is given, and the, the government will be on His shoulder, and He will be called Wonderful Counselor, Mighty God, 
everlasting Father, Prince of Peace. Of the greatness of his government and peace, there will be no end. He will reign on David's throne and over his kingdom, establishing and upholding it with justice and righteousness from that time and on and forever. The zeal of the Lord Almighty will accomplish this. Lift up your heads, your gates, and lift up to you everlasting doors, and the King of glory shall come in. I proclaim it again and again that the zeal of the Lord shall perform this. Hallelujah. There is none like you, my God. There is none like powerful like you, my Lord. Father, we worship you. We praise you. We have not bowed our knees to any other God. Father, there is no other God like Jehovah. Father, we take this authority over the prince of power of the year and establish power of superior authority over this region in Jesus' name. We decree and declare that our minds is free of any strongholds from uh, whom sun sets free is free indeed. And we command the heavens to be opened. Father, clear our path and reach supernatural highways of every satanic barricade that may hinder our prayers. We arrest, in the name of Jesus, those entities that are responsible for demonic trafficking and prohibiting further interference and interruption and interceptions. Father, please release upon us the prophetic revelations, your ideas, your wisdom, your creativity. Hallelujah. In the name of Jesus, every mountain must be made lower, every crooked place must be made straight, so that I know I now advance with wisdom, strategies, and divine techniques that are made available to me. I decree and declare that every Jericho wall must come down. I possess my possession. I take authority over issues originated from camp of the enemy. I command every situation and the circumstances to come down into divine alignment in Jesus' name. I reverse every course into in my life. I excavate every seed, demonic seed, illegally planted in my mind, my soul, my spirit, that shall not take root. They shall not be incubated, cultivated, nurtured, nourished, watered, or fed. I destroy them now, right now, in Jesus' name. I receive only the seeds that emanate from the mind of God. Seeds of hope, seeds of my divine destiny, power, success, prosperity, seeds of holiness, seeds of righteousness, seeds of godliness, seeds of ethical dealing, seeds of morality. I choose to break out of limitation, limiting situations. I break the power of imprisonment over my mind, my ministry, my soul, my spirit, my destiny, my future, my voice, my family, my finances. I break out. I break free. I break through. I declare and decree that I have authority over all destiny-altering activities, satanic sanctions, and the impositions in the name of Jesus. I decree that every demonic prison be opened up and release my future, release my nation, release my government, my family, my children, my ministry, my anointing, my influence, my reputation, my name, my peace, my joy, my happiness, my health. I release it in the name of Jesus Christ. I decree and declare whom the Son sets free is free indeed. In Christ I claim my true identity. I decree that today is a dawning of the new day in Jesus. I declare, according to Psalm 92, verse 18 to 15, But you, Lord, are forever exalted. For sure your enemies, Lord, surely your enemies will perish. All evildoers will be scattered. You have exalted my horn like the of all wild ox. Fine oil have been poured over me. My eyes have been seen the defeat of my adversaries. My ears have heard the rout of my, the wicked foes. The righteous will flourish like a palm tree. They will grow like a cedar of Lebanon. I planted in the house of the Lord, they will flourish in the court of our God. 
they will still bear fruit in all age. They will stay fresh and green, proclaiming, The Lord is upright. He is my rock, and he is my, uh, there is no wickedness in him. Hallelujah. Since my times are in your hands, I declare that this year and the years to come shall be filled with my glowing supernatural days in Jesus. I am anchored in Lord. I decree and declare that my struggle is over. I declare sudden surprises, supernatural increase of happiness and joy, supreme delight in the Lord, sustainable glory, favor, riches, power, and influence. I am anointed in Jesus. All things have passed away. Behold, all things can become new. I enter into a new season and declare for new season of strength, peace, wholeness, focus, prosperity, ministry. I declare that my head will never lack fresh oil. I increase in density, consistency, and potency in the name of Jesus. I declare that this oil acts as a seal and approval upon my life. It endures me, equips me, empowers me, takes, makes room for me, causes me to live in, in overflow, ushers me into the prophetic destiny and prominence through Jesus, in whom I have obtained an inheritance, being predestined according to the purpose of him who works all things according to the counsel of his will. I seal this prayer in Jesus' name, and by the power of his blood, the word, and the Holy Spirit. Now unto him that is able to do exceedingly above that I could ask or think, according to the power of that works in me. Hallelujah. In the name of Jesus, I shall end this year and every year strong, and start every new year empowered. In the Jesus' name. I declare it. Amen and amen. Hallelujah. We worship you, God. We thank you, God. None like you, God, Father, Jehovah. Hallelujah. Amen. Thank you for praying with me. I bless you in the Jesus' name. Amen.